What's up YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Mike and my channel is Mike Simon where I just post anything and everything. Uh, today I'm going to go through a quick uh, tutorial um, on free software that you can use for your 3D printer and a free slicing software that you can use. I currently picked up the uh, Ender 3 Pro and so far I'm liking it and I figured I'd show you guys what softwares like the best on the market that is free. Uh, first of all, you want to get Fusion 360. Now this software is your CAD software which you can design, build. This is free. Cloud-based uploads your uh, information to the cloud. You can access it uh, via your iPad. You can get the Fusion 360. You can't create anything on it, but you can view your projects. So let's have this load up and we'll just do a quick demonstration on what you can uh, build. I'm not 100% familiar with it. I'm still learning the software, um, but I'm getting better at it. I've accomplished creating something in here, putting it in a slicing software and printing it out. Uh, so pretty much we're just going to create a quick box. Uh, we'll just look at the front face here. So it's going to be make a quick box. Uh, how high do we want it? I'll just do 0.10. Do your shift and move to show you your thickness. Um, the walls, we can do a press and set this. We want this to be a two inch box by, uh, we'll do two inches. It's a two inch by two inch box that we're currently playing with. And you can actually ex pull this up if you want to make this actually another two inch. So this is a two inch by two inch by two inch square. If we want to make it an actual box and highlight a surface and we can click shell. How deep or thick do you want the walls? We'll do 0.5. Actually, I think I did that a little bit too much here. Let's go back. 0 0.05. There we go. So now we have a box. So this box can be created. Um, say for instance you wanted to put letters on the front of this or a name you can highlight we will hit sketch tool create text we will call this YouTube We have a YouTube here. I actually want to change edit the text. We will the height we'll do what one inch? No, that's too big. Let's do a half inch. Let's see if it covers this up. So we're gonna make it we'll finish the sketch. We're going to move it. We're going to do a press pull and we will extrude this out 0 0.05. So now we have a YouTube box that kind of sticks out here. So when you print it, it will say YouTube on the side. Just for fun. Next thing you want to do is go to save. YouTube box. So this is going to save and it actually puts it out in the cloud for you. You must save it because you have to export it. So now that it's saved, we're going to export as an STL. You know, just go to my downloads. Um, actually, I'll just put it to my desktop. 
Oh, downloads is fine. Let's see. We will export. And this might take a little bit of time um, as it's converting it over. So we'll give that a moment. Well, while it's doing that, we're going to open up the other free software, which is Ultimaker Cura 4.5. Now, this is a slicing tool which you will need to use um, before you print anything on your 3D printer. I suggest running it through a slicing tool. This will clean it up, give you the, the estimated time, and if you have it set up correctly, it'll tell you how much filament you're going to use, how much money it's going to cost you, and you can change between the standard prints, uh, dynamic, which is better, or super fine prints with uh, the time on that. And you can also create supports. So if you have like a box and you have a bridge, there's no support under there. So it's kind of hard to print in midair without it sagging. So you would print supports that touch the bottom base of your 3D printer. I'm going to make this smaller here. It's still going. So I'll just show you here how I have this set up. I'm using the Creality Ender 3, 0.4 millimeter nozzle, standard print. I have my preferences set up as US dollars. Uh, my material that I'm using, it cost me $15. Um, and that is uh, 1.75 millimeter. This should actually be 1,000. Because that is how much filament is on the roll. Uh, underneath your options in the top right corner, I do standard quality. It seems to print fine. Uh, for me, the specific PLA that I'm using, 230 uh, print with a 60 degree bed works great for me. Maybe it's this filament I have, which is 215 to 230. It uh, doesn't take too well at um, 200 degrees. It doesn't stick to the bed. Like I said, this takes a moment here. Again, if you guys got any questions, uh, hit me up with some comments below. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to know about the software, if you have any questions. Um, I'm still learning, um, but it, it's, it's, it's good to learn uh, more and more as I go. And if you have questions, I can figure it out for you. It's, it's just more that I can do by learning. So actually, while this is saving, you can still work within the project. It just won't let you minimize this. And you can actually hit, like, play. And it will show you how I created this. So it's got like a structure timeline of everything I've done. So you can go back, um, undo certain things, and it just makes it really easy. All right. And I got a fairly quick computer, so I don't even know if this is using much resources. Let's check. Not too much. 10% of the CPU to crunch this. Like hardly any RAM. Um, but I, I'm running a Ryzen 7 2700, 32 gigs of RAM, solid state drive. It might be just the software that only uses minimum resources. So that might be why it takes so long to convert. to doing it I can actually let's see and, and you can set up different printers if you've got multiple printers 
you can set your values for each one and just do a quick swap you can select here pick your other printer and all your settings will change over All right, it's completed, so I'm going to close this out. Send this back to home. Open up my Creal. You know, it downloads and YouTube box. We'll copy it over. And you'll see it throws the box in here, centered on the bottom. This is actually my print space. This is what I can print, the size, everything. It's specified to the printer. And come here look at the box so this is what I would be printing if I were to print this the red on the bottom just shows it's a flat surface and it would need uh, supports if needed and the red underneath here means it's it's printing in midair you I wouldn't use supports on something like this if you're printing the box this way if you were to print the box, let's say um, we rotate it, if you were to print the box like this, everything would print fine until it started right here where it's all red. That's where it would need support because it's trying to print this in midair. So if you were to do it like this, which I wouldn't suggest, but you can, you can do support. Mm build plate I guess you could do that we'll hit slice so currently this will take two hours and 56 minutes and it'll cost 30 cents this is a two by two box so if I hit preview uh, let's see it did not I'm gonna have to do everywhere and re-slice this Okay, so it's gonna take seven hours. And the reason it's doing that is because if I do preview, it's gonna fill this box completely up because this is all gonna be supports that can be broken out. So I would suggest saving your material, not printing any supports. Uh, prep your box as if it's in the orientation like this with the, the largest flat surface on the bottom now if you wanted supports for like the YouTube here you can do that uh, we can do touching base place and slice that and I'll show you how it will see how it drops it down to three hours but now it builds see these plates it'll build supports that are really really thin that will hold up so that your letters don't sag. Since they're only protruding out like really little, like not even a quarter of an inch, I would not even put them on there. And the software is pretty cool because you can do a uh, preview here. It's gonna show me on the right hand side, it's gonna take 254 layers to build this. Two hours, 56 minutes, 30 cents. And you can drag this down and look at every layer on how it's going to be built, um, which is awesome. So it's going to show me your your outline all the way around. It's the first layer. Um, and it, this is exactly how your 3D printer will build it. Uh, you can actually hit play here, and it'll show you how your printer will print. Which is, which is pretty awesome because your printer will do exactly this and it will give you an idea if you're doing really detailed stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do is when you're done with this, you can just do save to file. This will be uh, G code. That's what the Ender 3 Pro uses. You would just save this out. I'm going to save this to download. Now that it's saved, what you'll do is you'll throw this on your micro SD card, pop it into the printer, make sure you level it first, and start printing, and this is what you will have. 
after 2 hours and 56 minutes. If you made it this long, thanks for hanging out and going through the tutorial on how to build a simple box with protruding letters and text and putting it into another free software called Cura and then adding it into an STL and getting it ready for a G-code to be printed. And as always, I'll see you soon.